All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. Here at Altcoin Daily, you subscribe for our daily videos on everything going on in the cryptocurrency space. Today, I want to talk to you about Bitcoin and really the culmination of everything that's been happening around us because we're in a very unique time. And the fact is, it's not going to be like this forever. People are going to make a lot of money in cryptocurrency over the next five to 10 years. And there's really no reason why you can't be one of those people. But you have to be smart. You have to be disciplined. I want you to subscribe to our channel, check in daily. I want you to stay updated, but really use our channel as a starting off point. You're going to have to make your own decisions. Now let's get into this. Do you realize that we are already in mid-October? mid-October and that next month is November and November is when BACT is finally set to launch. Now I've been saying this for some time that BACT it's a game changer for cryptocurrency and when it launches Bitcoin's price rising is going to be inevitable. Now some people argue they say hey we've kind of we've heard stuff like this before We've heard about these countless events that were supposedly going to trigger some sort of large rally. Like uh, you remember the Chinese New Year or these random crypto conferences or ETFs. I mean, is backed any different from those things or are we, are we being too optimistic? Well, I like what this random crypto enthusiast at online had to say. And I generally, I agree with his assessment. Check this out. Backed is a very different thing than what some people compare it to. It has nothing to do with the ETFs, consensus, Chinese New Year, or anything speculative like that. The fact is, Backed is owned by ICE, the same company who owns the New York Stock Exchange. Now, the New York Stock Exchange, that is the largest stock exchange on the planet. Money will essentially be liquid between the two platforms for investors. Backed will be allowing for Bitcoin to be bought and to be invested into 401k retirement plans as well. What people don't understand is that Backed will actually be the physical delivery of the asset, which is Bitcoin. So unlike most of the proposed ETFs, which are not backed by Bitcoin, except for the Vanek ETF, which is still yet to be approved, but this alone allows big time investors to easily invest in actual Bitcoin. This will actually make Bitcoin more scarce on the market as we know them now. Also, Bact will be purchasing Bitcoin at market, not over the counter. Bact also made it clear that there will be no margin trading, so it cannot be manipulated as easily as it, you know, it is with ETFs and futures. So what's the cherry on top? The cherry on top is that they will be pre-funding the platform, meaning before and up to its launch, they will be buying massive amounts of Bitcoin. Quote me now and feel free to say I told you so if I'm wrong. Backed will bring Bitcoin to $10,000 by the first week of November. Interesting. So I'm an active participant uh, posting on Reddit. I wanted to share this with you. I'm going to like this post because I want to support this guy. And I think that's the theme to today's video, that the future for cryptocurrency is bright. And really in the coming months, a lot of people are going to be wondering, is it too late for me to invest in Bitcoin? So there's this old adage, the early bird catches the worm. And in cryptocurrency, the time of the early bird is slowly ending. The earliest adopters of any new technology or investment are always the most rewarded. In terms of Bitcoin, if you had invested $100 in 2010, today you would have over $10 million. If you invested $100 in 2016, today you would have around $10,000. If you had invested $100 in early 2017, today you would have over $1,000. So as you can see, the early bird caught the worm many times, so to speak. Now that doesn't mean that there are no more worms to get. According to the World Economic Forum, and the World Economic Forum is an independent international organization committed to improving the state of the world by engaging business, political, academic, and other leaders of society to shape global, 
regional, and industry agendas. So according to them, cryptocurrency as a sector will grow by 2,000 to 4,000 percent over the next five years. That's a potential for 20 to 40 times return for anyone who invests and chooses the right coins to invest in. So to answer the question, no, it's not too late. And generally, I agree with this sentiment. The fact is we are early investors and there is such an opportunity there. However, there will come a time when Bitcoin and the whole crypto market will cease to be so young. I mean, right now we are still very volatile every single year. Now in the distant future, that's not gonna be the case. As Bitcoin's price grows, we're gonna, see, we're gonna see the market start to get more mature and really the price is going to stabilize. We're still in the early days, but it's not gonna be like this forever. So is it too late to invest in Bitcoin? No, I don't think so. What do you think? Comment below, is it too late to invest? And as far as Bitcoin getting 2,000% to 4,000% return on investment, hey, that's not going to happen tomorrow. This is a waiting game. This is a game where the disciplined investors win. Now, you know what Warren Buffett says. The stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient. I like that. Next up. Over 1 million people visit Bitcoin meetups annually. So this is an interesting analysis that suggests that there are a lot of new interest in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, a growing interest. So crypto enthusiasts are flocking digital currency focused forums across the globe, according to the data from community building site meetup.com. So you know meetup.com. Great way you can go online and whatever you're interested in, whether it's the Beatles or Game of Thrones or landscaping, you can find people in your area and go to a meetup in real life. So as of just the other day, October 14th, 2018, there are 5,568 Bitcoin meetups held worldwide with approximately 1.65 million members registered. Local communities are most abundant in tech-centric areas like Palo Alto and Mountain View. The former boasts the world's largest Bitcoin meetup with 35,000 members, and the latter finishes second with 15,400 members. So this article goes into detail. Um, America is the most popular place for people to talk cryptocurrency as far as the data from meetup.com goes. And also we're seeing more and more specific altcoin meetups. Altcoin meetups. It's not just for Bitcoin, but it's just interesting to see that there is interest there and the results can be seen and they can be measured. Now there is a counterpoint made in this article. I think it's always good to look at the counter argument Critics argue results. Meanwhile, critics argue meetup listings are not indicative of a coin's popularity. For some, Google Trends is a better indicator of the public demand, as most meetup registrants may be regulars divided between groups to debate or never even attend a meeting. So they're saying there's 1.5 people who are registered, not necessarily showing up, or also one guy could be registered at five different crypto um, meetups and so that one person shouldn't count for five individual people. Interesting nonetheless. All right, so now for this final article, this is the best one and I want to share it with you. I think you're going to want to tune in to all of this because Nick Chong from newsbtc.com, he put together a collection of investors, commentators, and industry leaders who all have the same sentiment that we are very close to bottom if we haven't hit bottom already. Now, personally, I'm not an expert, I don't know. My guess is, based on all my research, is that yes, we are very near bottom. But I wanna know what you think. Um, has Bitcoin hit bottom? Go on our Twitter, it's at altcoindailyio, and I wanna see what you think. I'm gonna post the uh, link to our Twitter right in the description so you can vote, and it's gonna be interesting to see the results. Do you think we have hit bottom? No, we haven't. We're close to bottom. We're far from bottom. Let me know. Let's get into this. I'm going to tweet this out at the end of the video. 
So, like I said, this is a collection of investors, commentators, and industry leaders that have foreseen a bottom in the tumultuous crypto market. Angelo BTC, a well-focused cryptocurrency commentator and analyst, recently broke his one-month-long Twitter hiatus to claim that Bitcoin was seeing its last dip ever, alluding to the well-read theory that crypto assets are finally starting to undergo a bottoming phase. Although some claim that this bullish call was fueled by hope and nothing more, the fact is that such a prominent trader made his prediction, making his prediction comforted thousands of his 124,000 Twitter followers. While Angelo, who is BitMEX's top trader by volume in early 2018, he failed to rationalize his calls with technical and fundamental indicators, there has been a multitude of industry leaders that have done the job for him. For instance, Mike Novogratz, a former Wall Street guru turned diehard, a former Wall Street guru turned crypto diehard. Uh, he revived his dust-ridden Twitter page in early September to claim that this market put in a low, clearly tapping into his knowledge of traditional capital markets. The Galaxy Digital CEO explained that markets of any variety like to retrace to the breakout. So seeing that crypto assets essentially retraced the whole bubble, Mike Novogratz claimed that a reversal to the upside is imminent. While critics of this theory may point out that the chart Novogratz highlighted is now one month outdated, the point is still as valid as ever. One week after he issued his hashtag calling bottom tweet, Novogratz took to CNBC fast money to highlight the other side of the coin, fundamental indicators. Uh, a theme throughout this interview was consistent throughout his comments, which that institutions are poised to allocate to allocate capital to the cryptocurrency market, adding that institutional FOMO is proverb, proverbially right around the corner. So he's saying that institutions are poised to invest and that's never really been seen in the crypto markets before. And when that happens, they're going to be FOMOing in just like everyday average people who FOMOed in back in late 2017. So since then, however, Novogratz has since retracted some of his short-term price predictions, but investors shouldn't be wary as other industry leaders picked up right where the CEO left off. Longtime Bitcoin proponent Tom Lee, the head of research at Fundstrat Global Advisors, told his clients that $1,900 Ethereum by year's end is a likely scenario. Despite not explicitly stating it, it's likely that Lee also believes that uh, his 25,000 Bitcoin prediction is still in the cards as well. How about this? Blockchain Capital's Spencer Bogart also had bullish sentiment to tout, recently claiming that while patience is essential, the long-awaited bottom is within the industry's grasp. Giving his forecast some credence, Bogart explained that the positive developments the crypto market has undergone in the past few months will be kindling for crypto's next bonfire, or growth cycle, in other words. And, as seen by recent as seen by the recent news cycle, this industry has undoubtedly seen its fair share of fundamental developments that will only better the experience for institutional and retail participants. Backed, a cryptocurrency platform aimed at revolutionizing how institutions, retail investors, and merchants interact with this industry is slated to launch its first product in November. If the launch of the physically backed futures products goes according to plan, the platform, which has been formally backed by Intercontinental Exchange, Microsoft, and Starbucks, will only increase adoption and real-world use case for crypto assets. In a bid to seemingly undermine BAX launch or to hop on the gravy train, American banking giant TD Ameritrade joined hands with uh, ErisX, which will reportedly offer Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash futures by Q2 of 2019. Now, some argue that Eris X is even more bullish than backed, as its futures vehicle will immediately be available to TD Ameritrade's 1 or 11 million, 11 million consumers upon launch. That's interesting. Not only have multinational corporations 
forayed into crypto through partnerships, but Wall Street giants are willing to gain a vested interest in this budding space through the establishment of crypto-focused products and services. Morgan Stanley, Citigroup, and Goldman Sachs, for example, all recently began work on offering Bitcoin derivative swaps to their clients, which will allow these firms to bring crypto trading to the mainstream. It's important to note that the aforementioned development is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to positive crypto news. So make no mistake, despite the dismal performance of the market, the industry is far from dead in the water. Although the fundamental indicators are signaling crypto's biggest bull run to date, as pointed out by Joseph Young, the lack of volume is still one of the hurdles the crypto market needs to clear before a bull run is all but confirmed. So he's checked off everything except volume. Final shakeout? Yes. Positive developments? Yes. Months of stability? Bitcoin at 6,200 to 6,800 range, range since August 9th? Yes. Lower highs since January? Bottoming out with record low volatility? Yes. Now we're just waiting for volume. All right. So what do you think? I think there's a lot of reason to suspect that the future is bright. Let me know. Go ahead and go to our Twitter. Participate in the poll. Either way, I'll see you tomorrow.